Hello and welcome to General Microbiology. This video will focus on mitosis, an important part of the cell life cycle. Mitosis is an essential cellular process that allows eukaryotic life to develop from a single cell into a fully grown individual, supports the natural process of healing and regeneration, maintains tissues by turning over cells, and when left unchecked, leads to cancer. Biological life exists in cyclical states. The most classical example on a microbiological scale is the cell cycle, essentially the life of a cell. The basic cycle of a eukaryotic cell, such as a skin cell, for example, is comprised of four phases. The first phase, G1 or a GAP1, is a phase where the cell increases in size, replicates its internal organelles and centrioles, and prepares for DNA synthesis. The second phase, or S phase, is the part of the cycle where the cell duplicates its DNA. And the third phase, G2 or GAP2, is a phase where the cell continues to grow, produces enzymes necessary for the process of cell division, and prepares itself for mitosis. G1S and G2 are together called interphase. Today, however, we will focus our attention on the fourth part of the cell cycle called mitosis. This is where the cell growth stops and the cell splits into two daughter cells, uh, basically the process of cell division, which is critical for development, growth, healing and regeneration. Normal cells spend very little time in mitosis, although this varies cell to cell. Having said that, a lot of very important processes take place within this phase. Mitosis is typically divided into five subphases, the first of which is prophase, and the last separation of the daughter cells is cytokinesis. The prophase follows the last phase of interphase, or G2. Here, chromosomes condense by winding DNA around chromatin, begin bringing the strands together into tightly packed orderly arrangements, and in addition to that, the nucleolus disappears, allowing for chromosomes to move within the nuclear membrane. The next phase is the prometaphase, where the nuclear membrane breaks down, and the spindle mechanism begins to push the centrioles to the opposite poles of the cell. Think of this as a set of ropes and pulleys, as well as anchors, that will separate the genetic material between the two daughter cells. Next, in metaphase, chromosomes line up along the central axis, also called the metaphase plate. The spindle mechanism now has the anchors, or centrioles, at the opposing poles, and the kinetic or microtubules attached to the center of each chromosome, called the centromers, are now fully engaged. When the microtubules are firmly connected to the centromers and the chromosomes are aligned on the central axis of the cell, anaphase begins. Here, the chromosomes are pulled apart by the spindle apparatus and begin to move towards either side of the cell. Finally, at telophase and cytokinesis, the cells separate via contraction of actin filament rings around the inside of the cellular membrane. The nuclear membrane reforms and the nucleoli reappears following the separation, allowing now the chromosomes to unwind to their normal, less organized and less condensed shape. The result of mitosis is the division of one parent cell into two daughter cells with essentially identical genetic material. The process is relatively fast, taking approximately one hour and is probably one of the most complex operations in the life cycle of the somatic cell. That is all for mitosis. Thank you for watching. For other cellular processes such as meiosis, the cell cycle in detail, or a comparison between meiosis and mitosis, subscribe and browse our channel.